hope you're all doing well. I'm going to be chucking up a video on my uh, pork capcan hover. Just because I sold the porcupines and I figured I'd do a video on it before I end up saving over it with some sort of Helgen build or something. So, uh, just the highlights, it is a free porcupine, two capcan beholder build uh, hover. The Omomori is attached to all three of the porcupines, which are all mounted underneath. The Colossus reload module and the Thor at the back, which you can just about see. Uh, what else? It's yeah, nine have a beholder Colossus. I prefer this layout. You can obviously have no mass, but I prefer not to just because of the balance of power. Blue hover, so you can get the 86 kilometers. Um, the perks of this build is that because all three of the porcupines are mounted underneath, against firebugs for instance, all three of the porks hit the same spot. I tend not to like porcupine builds where you'll have say some porks up here and then some porks underneath, especially if it's anti-dog, because say if there is a dog in your face, these porcupines will end up hitting the roof, these porcupines will end up hitting, hitting the wheels, which obviously isn't very efficient, plus any porks up here can get sparked, these can't. Uh, so I prefer all three of the porks to be underneath. Uh, as you can see, with two of them mounted sideways, one is mounted upside down. Just because all three of the, por of the porks will hit the same spot, the wheels, and then screw them over faster. Uh, as for the build, it is very, very tanky. Another perk of having the porcupines under is that you can put all the armor on top. So if you're fight, if you're going up against like Punisher hover or Breaker hover in this, then they can't really shoot your guns. Uh, well, firebugs can't hit the guns either, so they're gonna have to chew through all of the armor of the build. Just in terms of the armor, you've got bumpers at the very front mounted on shoot throughs. The shoot throughs itself are 10 squares away from the next layer of armor. Then you have the armor in the middle of the build, and behind all that, you've got the Colossus, which is mounted on a normal Wari, and both of the cap guns, which cover the cap slightly. So, if you want to kill this build, you have to go through the entire thing to kill it, which is really nice. Um, I would give tips on how to play it but it's a porcupine hover they are pretty self-explanatory the only thing i only thing i would say is that cap guns these days have about a bit of a delay like most of a second i would say so if you are using cap cans and going up against firebugs what i would do is just see if a firebug is coming in front of you just chill in between your cap guns the bug will hit you knock you back and then after about a second your cap guns will activate it's nice um Mm, that's pretty much it, I think. Uh, armor packs, you've got two mounted at the front just to add, add a bit of armor and they help blow up some hyper catchers from bugs when they do hit you. Once those are gone, you still get about 30 plus uh, pokes from the armor packs in the, bla in the back. The blue ones are pretty nice, we should be fine there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I I figured I'd put up this build just because it is very good, it's very tanky, it's also very maneuverable for what it is. And in terms of firebug counters, it's probably the best I've run, it's fantastic, it's just absolutely amazing against firebugs. Not too bad against spiders either, because you have the pro, you can sneak up on a uh, spider for instance. And then say if that was a spider, you just hit him in the face, put your cap guns down, and then odds are he's going to panic and run into your cap guns, which is nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll do a build through of it now, obviously without the porcupines, but as you can see, the porks are mounted, these two are mounted sideways, in line with the Omomori, and then this one's upside down. You'll know if you put them in the wrong place, just because the porks won't shoot. And I will actually remember to put this on, uh... Go away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on exit. Okay. Okay. Did it actually go on? Because I can't tell. It did go on. Alright, nice. Yeah, I'll do build through now. And uh, I said, hope everyone has a really nice weekend. Sorry for not uh, showing any streams this weekend. Just because I wasn't away. Yes, I was away yesterday. I played the first two hours of the first session. And I had to go. But stupidly. 
I left the stream on when I left, so there was about an hour of just blank screen, so I got rid of that. And then I was back like half hour at the end, so neither of those streams were, I felt like keeping just because they were kind of sloppy. And like, it was like half hour and then two hours of, well, two hours, then one hour of blank screen, just a bit shit. So uh, yeah, I'll probably end up doing another stream either tomorrow or Tuesday. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone and uh, have a nice weekend.